Yo, what's good people? Today we're going to be continuing the series on how to escape a certain rank. So now we're going to be talking about purple rank. So as you can see, I ranked up. So now you can see I ranked up to purple rank. So I'm just going to discuss my thought process on how to tackle matchups and how to tackle fighting people in purple rank because it is slightly different and I did notice a few things about purple rank players as opposed to red rank players. So we're going to analyze this set so i'm fighting a gym player and he's mighty ruler so at the bottom of purple rank so i'm going to discuss my thought process behind certain decisions and so on and so forth so let's get into it do me a favor like comment subscribe liking will help with the algorithm commenting will also help with the algorithm and then subscribing will let me know that you enjoyed the content nearly at 10k so let's push for 10k let's get into the video so immediately i started noticing purple rank players kind of using heat a little bit more effectively not using as many strings i still use strings but it was mainly i think the pace of play was a little bit just quicker paced and you'll, you'll see what i mean so again i would reiterate patience in purple rank because they still kill themselves they really do we're gonna analyze my thought process on stuff nice that's minus 12 keeping him locked down in the corner one thing as well throws are really 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 effective and that's one component of breaking your opponent's defense if you feel like you can't open people up throws are really good at doing that as you will see purple rank players don't do with throws at all so and raven has a really good throw game as well to mix up the one command throw and the one plus two command throw you can also throw generics in there as well to throw people off but his throws are really really effective in purple rank and his lows as well. They don't seem to duck unless you force them to duck with massive lows. Like Hell Sweep and down back four. What impressing. I dropped the combo. It's okay. Alright, let's see. Final round. His pace of play, his urgency is a little bit ramped up, I guess. Nice. And all gym players just abuse these strings. It's like, <laughs> what do you even do? You have to guess, but it's okay. He's dead. But yeah, I will say patience and finding ways to open up your opponents. Now to do that, you can either use lows if they're not blocking low, or you can use throws. If they're blocking your lows, if they're blocking your mids, another avenue to go down is using throws. Those are the two kind of defense breakers that I would suggest as well now you have heat as well which can help but outside of that throws and lows will really really help you in in any rank really to break defense so he's not blocking low Yeah, you kind of have to catch him pressing a little bit. But I think I started clocking on to his use of his jab strings in this game. Nice whiff punish. Carry him to the wall. What's the Oki? Okay, I just go for the damage. Down back four. Another low. Nice. Reaction. Yeah, he ducked. He ducked at the last second. And that's a frame trap. They can't actually rage out that string or sequence. Nice sidestep. Again, he wouldn't have blocked that low. Nice. What's the wall carry? Yeah, he pressed. So that's another thing you can try as well. If you notice that people are not respecting you in heat, you can actually sidestep the majority of, you know, retaliation. Because you are minus three, right? You're not plus. So why not try to use movement? And he whiffed and I did. It's the worst standing one, but I messed up the input. He's being patient. Letting him kill himself. That's fine. You can use the heat there. <laughs> Can't 
counter hit. He's dead. Bomb, bomb. Ooh, he's not dead. Nope. So you can actually fuzzy that string for people wondering. 214, and I think it's 2144. I'm not sure. But you can definitely fuzzy the timing. I was getting a lot of one and dones because my win streak was so high. But we're going to look at different characters. So we're going to look at Dragonov. We're going to look at Nina. We're going to look at Reyna. Okay, what to look out for with Dragonov? Down two. Full crouch low. Running two, obviously. There's, there's a few things that you should be looking out for. And I'm, I'm going to try and pick them out. See, they just don't duck. These players don't duck. So you have to force them to duck with lows. And that's what I mean. You have to do lows. Don't be afraid to do lows. Because he's not afraid to do lows, look. Just too far for the whiff punish. So now I'm doing the lows. <laughs> nice. It's the combo. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, round two, let's see. Nice. See, staying patient, they will kill themselves. Trust me. And this, this applies, I think, to around Tekken Emperor rank, I would say. They still kill themselves, at, at, even at that rank. So patience is really important. But you have to know the difference between not interacting and just being patient because... Not interacting will get you killed in this game. You need to be strategically patient, if that makes sense. You need to know what situations to be patient in. And Oki's one of them. Being knocked down as well. So those are a few at the end of rounds as well. So those are a few situations where I think being patient really pays off in, in Tekken 8. Especially with how aggressive the game is. Usually there's a lot of urgency in Tekken 8, I, I've noticed, in a lot of players. So let's see. Yeah, killed himself again. And then I, I didn't get the run back. But you can kind of see my point. Being patient will really, really help you. And you'll get a lot of mileage in ranked out of being patient, I think. Even if it's a first to two, I think being patient will really, really help you. And again, throws, lows, and being patient. Those three combined will really, really carry you through to blue rank. So again, this is another one and done. But I, yeah, <laughs> it's because of the streaks. And they just might not know Raven, so I guess. That string's minus 14, so just pay attention. Make sure you don't let Rainers get away with that. I'm just poking her down with mids at the moment while standing twos, down forward ones. Just keeping it simple. Should have punished it. Okay. Nice. <laughs> he tried it. Bam, 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 bam. All right, round two, let's go. Poking it down with mids. Nice low parry. Okay. And in purple rank, I think, well, in ranks in general, I think it's it's worth kind of, they all have these flow charts and these go-to moves. So with Reyna, it's always going to be forward, forward, two, right? It's always going to be the three plus four string, right? So my advice as well is if you're finding it difficult against a certain character, you need to go into the replays and look at how to beat a selection of moves, like maybe two or three moves that you were getting hit by. Learn how to deal with those moves effectively and that will really, really help you as well. Because as I said, a lot of it is matchup knowledge as well. So you can play patiently and use lows and throws. But if you don't know the matchup, that's going to cost you in a lot of sets as well. So see what I did. Yeah, I interrupted that time because I knew they weren't going to do the three option. Sentai three. So again, another three round wash. And that's just because... I interrupted in the right places. I was patient in the right places. And I think 
My matchup knowledge also helped. So, you know, minus 14s were punished optimally and I interrupted where I needed to interrupt. So that was Reyna. Unfortunately, we don't have a second game to analyze, but you can kind of get the picture. It's again, a blend of matchup knowledge, a blend of being patient, blend of knowing when to attack and a blend of kind of knowing what moves to throw out that will break the defense. As you saw there, the Reyna player was low parrying lows, blocking lows. I was poking it down with mids. So let's see how that might differ in this Nina player, for example. All right, let's see. Again, matchup knowledge allowed me to launch. How's it throw? Should have ducked. And that was that Nina player's go-to move was, I don't know what the input is. I think that's a new move, but the front flip into the kind of the high attack, they were using that move a lot. So that's why I could kind of get those launch opportunities as well. Nice. Nice. Again, see. Poking her down with mids. Nice. <laughs> Backswing. Nice. Third round, let's see. Mid pokes. Now I go for the big low. Paid off because it's a floor break. And I did a bit of knowledge checking of my own as well. That's important as well for, you know, you to knowledge check people as well. That will help. And that was a guess. So he ducked and he guessed wrong. Nice. Let's see what I do here for the combo. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, I was waiting for the power crush. Because a lot of Nina players love to do that move, but this wasn't coming. Drop the combo, but it's okay. Spring kick punish. So again, that match was a blend of matchup knowledge. It was a blend of using lows when necessary. So I went for the low because I knew it would floor break. So again, it's like picking moments to do the lows. And mainly I was just poking with mids and using my matchup knowledge to kind of get myself out of situations. So I earned myself a lot of launches because I knew certain strings that the Nina player was defaulting to. So again, matchup knowledge, use of lows, throws as well. I got myself out of a power crush situation because I did a throw, but that's important. So again, you're seeing the same sort of strategy towards these players. And it's the same as Red Rank, really. It's just, I feel like the pace of play is a little bit quicker and they know how to use heat a little bit more. But again, it's just mid-checking, using lows to break that mid-check. Because the thing is, if your mid-checks are working, keep doing mid-checks, right? And to break defense, use lows and throws. Let's look at one final set. So you will start at the top of purple rank, you will actually start fighting blue ranks. So it's important to know how to tackle these blue rank players these lower blue rank players so i'm gonna analyze the wiring and again he wanna to me but it is what it is you know so this is my promotion match to fujin and as you can see i'm on a 22 win streak so that's why people are leaving so i don't blame them but again with punish be patient yep mid check Throws again, open up defense. Yeah, 
you can also use Souls on 4 at that range for a free mix because Souls on 2 goes far as well. So that's another thing. If you need a kind of an easy mix, you can mix people from like range 4. Okay. Nice. Another throw. Pop heat. So, again, be comfortable using heat as well. Heat's really important. And I have a video on how to use heat optimally with Raven. Nice combo adaptation. Plus, into a big low. Nice. That was good. I didn't need to overextend. And as you can see, I was impatient and I got launched for it. So that's the, par the price I pay for not being as patient. You see? And I lost a round because of it. Because I overextended and I got launched. So again, patience is the key here for, for this rank. And I mean any rank really. Okay. He popped heat. Let's see what he does with it. <laughs> yeah he's dead so that's kind of how to deal with purple rank players or the mindset behind me tackling the purple rank players and as you saw you know early blue rank players and again it's the same as red rank it's just the pace of play is a little bit quicker and they know how to use heat they know how to use their characters a little bit more so that's where the additional matchup knowledge will really help you but in terms of how to approach these matchups it's the same patience using lows when necessary to break defense and using throws if what you're doing is working if what you're doing is hitting do not switch up the style of play because it doesn't make sense like why fix something that isn't broken right you know the saying so again that's my journey through purple rank hope you enjoyed peace